The last time we talked to you, Rui Hachimura was still part of the team. Now he's not. Um, at times, he showed a lot of potential and put up some decent numbers. But you had a log jam at forwards, and we've heard. I heard mm-hmm. Tommy Shepard talk about you know maybe addition by subtraction in that Denny's playing more, and I, now you guys are right. calling him Turbo, and he's playing really right. well. Uh, t- kind of kind of talk about all that and the decision making to to move on from Rui, who was a productive player. Yeah, he was, and uh, you know he was great off the bench. Um, you know, I think it's uh, to your point, it was a bit of a log jam at that position with uh, KP playing more four. You know, really squeezed Rui. Danny, even Coos so much um, at, at getting those minutes. So I thought, like Tommy said, you know, addition by subtraction in some regard, freeing those minutes up, I think it really helped Danny. Uh, he's playing at a high level, specifically on this trip. Um, but, you know, a lot of times things, you know, there's a lot of moving parts. And, you know, he was a foundational piece coming into this year. And you look at where you are and how, how you can adjust and how can we improve. Um, and just a, a little tweak, you know, of, of, of trading a guy um, really opens up some things for other, other players and I think really helps us long term. I saw yesterday online him saying that I guess him and, and KP, as you're calling him, Porzingis, are really tight. Has Porzingis helped the development of Danny Avdia? Yes, he has. You know, I think it's, uh, you know, he's a young vet. You know, it's, people don't realize he's, he's not even 30. But you feel like he's been around, been in the league so long. Um, and maybe it's the commonality in being a foreign-born player playing here in the NBA. Um, but, you know, KP's been around. He's been in different organizations. He's kind of understanding now his impact. And, you know, a lot of guys don't want to do it, not, not able to do it. But I think he's done a terrific job of kind of putting his arm around Denny and, you know, really helping his development not only on the floor but, you know, in his professional life. So, Coach, Chris Stapps tweeted a picture of Denny cooking some steaks mm-hmm. in what appears to be a cast iron skillet. Like, he looks like he knows what he's doing in the kitchen. For a 22-year-old kid, that's that's pretty impressive because a lot of guys hmm. come into the league, they don't know, you know, the value of nutrition. They're not, not right. good at eating and what they're putting into their bodies. I mean, he's got, like, the little spice cup. He's over the steaks. Like, he, he looks like he knows what he's doing in the kitchen. We're, and, and when is he going to cook for the team? That's the next. Uh, step. I'd be shocked. <laughs> I'd be shocked to see uh, to see that in, in, in action. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that he can't, but uh, I'd be a little surprised myself to see how how well that turns out. Uh, looks pretty good. I, I think I would eat these steaks out of a skillet. <laughs> looks pretty so, delicious. So, do you expect the numbers to kind of keep going up for Denny? I mean, he, he's averaging nine point eight and eight point two boards in the month mm-hmm. of uh, January. So he had a really good month, and he had. <laughs> He had a 20-board game against Chicago. Obviously, he had the 25 points in the, the game mm-hmm. in San Antonio. Do you kind of ex- – I mean, it seems like he's more comfortable in that role. I'm sure the confidence level is pretty high. Do you, do you expect those numbers to kind of stay where they are? Well, I hope so. I mean, you know, he's had some a string of good games, and I think just his approach and mindset. He's playing with a level of aggression, level of physicality, uh, which has helped him. You know, obviously getting to the line, getting downhill to the paint, um, he's doing a better job of finishing around the rim. So all those things, I think, are are in play. But I, you could just see his, you know, there's a different level of, of, of confidence the way he steps onto the floor. And I think that's really helped him. So I hope to see this continue. But, you know, I don't want to say that those numbers will stay the same. I just hope his approach, mm-hmm. um, you know, remains intact. Well, the thing that I really like about his game, he's obviously shown you that he can rebound. But it's when he can rebound and then push the ball up the court mm-hmm. because he's a mm-hmm. bigger guy who has pretty good handles um, and could almost, I know that you, he really doesn't play it, but could almost play like a point forward position for you guys pushing the ball up the court. Yeah, you know what, that, that, that would be optimal. You know, I think he has a license to do that, as does a guy like uh, Poos. And both guys are very similar in, in size and stature, but they have the playmaking ability. And that's been one thing that we've fostered since day one. If we re- defend at a high level and rebound, one through four can push, and we have enough versatility, flexibility with, with those guys to be able to play make, play pick and roll, uh, and it's one of Denny's strengths. Um, I think that's kind of lends to the whole argument of freeing up some of that room and giving Denny opportunity. Um, he wasn't getting as much of that, um, you know, in that second group with the roster we had intact. So kind of moving some pieces and opening up some space has allowed him to do that.